Dealing with our cat crepuscular biorhythm can be very annoying, especially because most of us already have to deal with party to the night or get ready with my heels on neighbors. If your cat attempts to wake you up after you've gone to bed, they might be trying to achieve one of these three things, play, eat or cuddle. Especially kittens from under one year of age can drive us nuts from sleep deprivation. In today's video, I'm going to share products and practices that are going to help you sleep through the night. Also, if you stick until the end of the video, I'm going to share with you that one mistake that might keep your cat waking you up at night. If you're a new cat mom, or a new cat dad, or even if you've had a cat for a while and you're looking for a fresh start, consider subscribing. I am uploading weekly content with tips and tricks to improve your cat life. Cats must work to earn their food. Their behavior is going to be characterized by small periods of intense activity followed by rest. Because most of their prey are crepuscular or nocturnal, cats have evolved to thrive at dawn and dusk as well, which is precisely where you would like to be flattening the matter. To make matters worse, our schedule reinforces their natural behavior. Most of our cats have little to no stimulation during the day. You are at work, the house is quiet, and your cat has nothing to do but sleep. Your cat blossoms when you go home after work. For your cat, the day starts when you arrive from work and your home springs to life again. Changing our cat's behavior might be our first route of action, but living with a cat will always take some compromise. Anyway, let's see what we can do to keep our home quiet at night. Cats love routine. Set the tone for the bedroom as a no-play zone. Keep toys outside the bedroom at all times. Lights out every day at the same hour. Once the lights are off, no other interaction but cuddling can happen. Turning the lights off every day at the same time should be an important part of the bedtime routine script. This doesn't mean that you cannot stay later than that time. What this means is that lights off at the same time and cuddling should be consistent throughout the week. And you might be wondering, what happens if I like to sleep in on the weekends? If you do that, you're going to mess up your cat's circadian rhythm. Because for them, every day is cat day. Don't get me wrong, sleeping in is great, but sometimes we can snooze away an entire morning unless someone intervenes. And cats seem to know when humans are oversleeping. So if harassment won't stop, maybe it's time to take the hint and wake up. But I know that you're not here for me to tell you this. So let's see what else we can do. One of the easiest things we can do to stop our cat's nocturnal behavior is to stop free-feeding them. Free-feeding means that the cat will always have food available for them. If you're following this practice, probably you have dry food always out. As I was mentioning at the beginning of the video, our cat will likely rest after eating. If we don't have control when our cat is eating, we don't have control either when our cat is resting. So from now on, instead of free-feeding your cat, put your cat on a schedule and offer two or three meals a day. I serve me at three meals a day. One at 7 a.m., one at 3 p.m., and the last one at 11 p.m. By doing this, we're going to induce sleep about the time we go to bed. The more active a cat is during the day, the more likely that they're asleep at night. And remember that playtime is not only the best way to drain your cat's energy, it's also the best way to bond with your cat. Play until your cat seems tired, but don't stop just yet. Let your cat rest for 10-20 minutes and do it again. Cats are not an endurance animal, they hunt through bursts. Try to schedule several interactive sessions throughout the day. If you want to drain all your cat's energy, you need to do it at their rhythm. If your cat sleeps through the day out of boredom because you're at work, then it's natural that they're going to have energy and ready to play when you come back. So if you work during the day, consider investing in some toys or food puzzles or anything that's going to drain your cat's energy while you're outside. I'm going to be dropping some links in the description below with some recommendations. If your cat has more energy than you, consider clicker training. Clicker training and mental stimulation is going to drain your cat's energy way faster than any other sort of playtime. If you don't know what clicker training is, check out the link above. A few weeks back, I filmed a very comprehensive tutorial about what clicker training is and how can it help you improve the bond with your cat. The last tip I'm going to give you about draining your cat's energy, try to schedule the last play session of the day right at the last meal. That's going to resemble how they hunt, so they're going to get tired, then they're going to eat, and then they just need to sleep. 
If your cat is good with other cats, you can also consider adding a second cat to your family. If the cats are introduced properly and they are compatible, they are most likely going to play with each other instead of waking you up at night. However, I've experienced myself two romping cats instead of one and that makes things just twice as bad. A more silent alternative is to give your cat free access to outdoors. You need to know that this might pose a risk for your cat given all the outdoor threats as well as being a threat itself for the outdoor fauna. Cats are expert hunters and they are an invasive species so I personally do not recommend this option. If routine, scheduled meals and play don't make the trick, there are some products that might help. In case you're interested, I'll be adding the Amazon links in the video description below. Nighttime is hunt time. As I mentioned before, it's normal for cats to hunt at night for small bites. If your cat needs those small bites, there are some mouse-shaped feeders that you can stuff with food and hide around the house before you go to bed. This is going to keep your cat busy when they wake up for munchies. Hopefully, you and your family are going to get some uninterrupted sleep. Automatic feeding systems can be programmed to deliver the first meal of the day. Those are awesome tools to get a couple extra hours of sleep every morning. Make sure you adapt the amount of calories intake if you add an automatic feeding system, otherwise your cat might gain weight. A pro tip for the automatic feeding system, set it up for your cat's switching hour. Then, instead of waking you up, your cat is going to be sitting next to the machine waiting for the food delivery. After the snack, the cat can either go cuddle with you or take a nap somewhere else and wait for the day to get started. I promised I'd share with you at the end of the video the one mistake that most people do when their cat disturbs them at night. Never, ever respond to your cat seeking attention at night. If your cat wakes you up at night, the worst thing you can do is give them any sort of attention. Don't yell at them, don't sweat at them, and certainly do not feed them. If you give a response, either positive or negative, you're giving your cat what they're looking for, and they will just keep doing it. And this is especially important if you sometimes answer and sometimes you don't. Because intermittent reinforcement is the strongest kind of motivation. Think about gambling. It gets addictive because you never know when you're going to win. So you keep on trying. This is what you achieve when sometimes you answer your cat and sometimes you don't. Also, we tend to answer our cat when they get specially annoying. And by doing that, we're reinforcing them to be specially annoying because it's the only way you're going to listen. So if you have to wake up because you yourself want to eat or you have to use the bathroom, ignore your cat. To summarize, the bedroom is a no play zone. Lights on and off every day at the same time. Darkness means peace. Play with your cat several times a day and especially one time before you give them the last meal. Stop free feeding your cat. Never ever respond to your cat's demand. And if nothing else works, there are some products that might help. Consider subscribing. I'm going to be uploading content on a weekly basis with tips and tricks to do more with your cat. Good night. Come on. See you soon.